Alright, today I'm going to show you how to get root, um, rooted uh, Wi-Fi tether for your phone um, on the latest KitKat update for Android. And this is on the Sprint um, Galaxy S4. So, yeah, it's because if you root, it's the Wi-Fi tether still doesn't work. It's kind of messed up. So uh, Sprint block, blocked it still. And it's on the... Samsung Galaxy S4 SPHL 720 and the 4.4.2, which is the KitKat update. Um, you need to, it needs to be NAE, which is KitKat um, for the Android, and it's also the baseband is NAE, and uh, it's on, so it's on Sprint, and you will need a um, Make sure before you do this, you have root, and there should be, I'll put a link in the description on some videos on how to root your phone on the latest KitKat update for uh, for the Android of uh, the Galaxy S4 on Sprint. And you will need a ROM installer and a file explorer with root access so you can know which type of file system you have. Uh, there's two different ones uh, that you need to know is Odex and not, uh, I think non-Odex. And um, there is uh, Wi-Fi tethering on this. And it does work for a couple seconds. It says hotspot is activated. But it says you're not subscribed to the service. And um, all regular root Wi-Fi tether doesn't work. But you usually can get it to work, but it doesn't. It says errors. And there's also some, something called Easy Tether Pro. And it does work for USB and Bluetooth tethering to your Android device or your computer. And that works on the latest version of the Android. I mean, but you don't have Wi-Fi tethering, so... Yeah, this... This app, if you don't have the newest update, it might work for you. It's like, it's a uh, Wi-Fi toggle, Wi-Fi hotspot toggle. And it does work for a couple of seconds, and then it, it doesn't work. So I actually can see it come up on my computer, and it shows that there's Wi-Fi, but then it disables it. So you're going to also need a recovery for your phone, and you will need to do a backup of your Android system. And you just um, install a recovery you can, uh, I'll put a link in the description on different videos on how to do recoveries. Um, but you basically just do a, uh, and this comes with, you can install ROMs. And it's got a flash recovery. So you can, it's easy to just put on your recovery. And you can, uh, that's what I did. It's a good recovery. And it's got the latest update for your phone uh, and for your carrier. And you can, uh, install ROMs if you wish to do so, but you need to do a backup first of your uh, recovery. So to do that, you need to power down your phone. And basically what we're doing is just installing a ROM into the phone to get the Wi-Fi tethering work. If you do install a uh, not a non-stock uh, rooted phone the rom is non-stock you can sometimes it will have the wi-fi tethering already working but for stock it doesn't work for this phone on the newest android so what you do is you hold the power button the, the volume up button and the home button at the same time so you can see and it will go into recovery mode if you flash the recovery And you gotta wait until it vibrates, and then it should show your recovery if you installed one. And this is the one that I show you on the top. It's a recommended one, I guess. But just make sure it's the one for your carrier. You just search on YouTube on different on how to root and install a recovery, so you can install the ROMs or custom firmware to get the Wi-Fi tethering. 
and you would just um, do a backup and you can uh, you do boot system and data and you just swipe to backup you can uh, select which storage device you want to do it the SD card is probably pretty handy to do that if you need to take out your SD card and have your backup on there and you can just do that it might take uh, 10 20 minutes depending on how big your sy your system files take up or your firmware or whatever you select to back up so I'm just going to power off sorry I did a backup and then you need to go to the site which they have on how to uh, put Wi-Fi tethering on for the sprint of the newest NAE update which is the KitKat update so you can get Wi-Fi tethering for free Alright, this is the um, form for the new uh, NAE KitKat update for the uh, Enable Native Hotspot mod on the on your rooted uh, Galaxy S4 on Sprint. Uh, you need to make sure you make a backup first, of course, just did that. And they also have an MK2 update, and I think that is for Android 4.3, you need to check that. Um, but here we have NAE hotspot mod and it's on the ODEX and you did the recovery just make sure you do a backup and you need to flash this mod onto your phone using the recovery so you need to check if you have ODEX or DODEX but most time stock is on this for now I know it's ODEX because you can check by going to you go to um, file explorer and you also go to your si you have to have root access go to system so system and then you go to app and you should see odex and focus Odex files for your phone and you download that file in that so you download the Odex if it's what you have sometimes if you have a custom ROM it might not work this might not work but you it might be an, uh, a D Odex file that you have to download just depends on what that file name said so Go to ROM installer. And you can use your if you can you can do it manually or you can do it through your ROM installer. And uh you made sure you do the backup. So I think I did the backup before, so I don't have to do that. It'll boot you into recovery automatically. All right, it's gonna boot you into recovery, and you want to flash this zip file. So you don't have to do it manually with the power button. It's a really handy app. It's free in App Store, so. And now it's install. It's flashing the zip to your uh, files system. It's basically installing a custom ROM. If anything goes bad, it should. If it anything happened, it might freeze up on here. But you can always do a recovery. 
it's just make sure you do backup. I heard some people got stuck on this yellow screen because they did something wrong, like they didn't install the right file, didn't install the right uh, NAE update, which works for the this Android version. So you just gotta make sure everything's compatible first. And it looks like it worked. I'm surprised some other people said that they got stuck on the screen. They said something about like toggle is not working. Let's see if Fi Fi Hotspot works now. Um, you need to set it up. Um, so make sure you set up all your time, your configurations, your if you want it open, and uh, advanced options, how many people you want to connect, your broadcast. Let's see if it doesn't disable me. All right. Hopefully I don't get no subscription crap. Yeah, this is hotspot is activated. And I'm not getting any uh errors. I'm not getting any uh you gotta buy the service now. And I can share my internet that I'm already paying for. I'm just sharing it through the Wi Fi. So yeah, it seems like it's working. Let me check on my computer. Alright. Alright, there we go. Let's check. If I can focus. And I need to install my Wi Fi actually. It's still working on my phone. Put my Wi Fi adapter in since I'm on LAN. Hopefully it's still working. Oh shit, look we got my uh, hotspot working on my uh, Galaxy S4 on the newest update of Android. And so it's Sprint for the Galaxy S4 on the 4.4.2. So that's how you enable uh, native hotspot for free without a subscription. So yeah, now I don't need no... Uh, Description and doesn't block it. And I still have root. And I, so if you have root, you you still need to do that. You just need you need to flash that file for the newest update. All right. Uh, like my like my uh, video and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.